Good morning, sunshines. Welcome to Calendar. It is Wednesday. We are going to talk about Wednesday. We're going to do the calendar, and I have a special day to tell you about on the calendar. So let's start off by checking in on the mood meter. Let's check in on the mood meter. How are we feeling? I'm pretty, I'm in a really good mood, so I'm in the yellow. I'm excited about what I'm about to tell you about. I'm excited about teaching my lessons today. I get to Zoom with my class today, so that's always fun. Has everybody checked in? And remember, all the feelings are okay. It's okay to feel any of these. All right. All right, so let's look at our May calendar. Now, I want to show you something. Do you see this down here that I have drawn? This is June 1st. So when May's over, this is June 1st. This is going to be our special kindergarten graduation day. Now, we cannot do it in person because of the coronavirus. We cannot go and have a graduation at school. But me and Miss All and Miss Johnson are planning a special thing for you and your families on this day. Okay, at one o'clock on Zoom. So we've already, I think most of us have told your parents, if you haven't found out about it yet, then this is it. This is exciting. It's, it's a pretty new thing that we've planned. So you might not know about it yet. But now you do. And it's so exciting. Um, so that's on this day. Um, so let's go ahead and figure out the date for today. Now that you know when this is. All right. So yesterday was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Let's count to today and figure out the date. Okay, let me erase the date from yesterday. And let's count to today. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Today is the thirteenth. So a thirteen is a one right? And then a three. That is 13. Everybody write 13 on your calendar. Once you've written 13, then you can um, find, help me find the 13, which is right over here. All right, so now we can say the date together. Today is Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. Awesome. All right. Now it's time to check the weather. And when I was outside, it was cloudy. Let's see what the weather says. Oh, it says it's raining. Well, it wasn't raining when I was out there. It was just cloudy, but it does look like it might be a little rainy right now, but it says later it's not going to rain. But I'm going to put cloudy because when I went outside, it was cloudy. Now, if it's raining at your house, then you can put rain. If it's sunny at your house now, then you can put sunny. I'm going to put cloudy because it is cloudy at my house. So I'm going to color in a cloudy day. All right, and so I had zero, right? And I added one, so how many cloudy days do I have now? Yeah, I have one cloudy day right now, one. What type of weather still has the most? Yes, sunny, sunny has the most. And then we have rainy, snowy, and windy down here that have zero. Great job, meteorologist. All right, how many days do we have left in kindergarten? We're going to erase this. We're going to erase a star and tell me how many days are left in kindergarten. I'm moving my coffee because I keep almost spilling it everywhere. Oh, that would be terrible. Um, all right, let's go ahead and see what you got. Did you get 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14? Because if you did, then that's the right answer. So let's write 14. It's how many tens is it? It's a one and then a four for four, and there's four ones. And so that makes 14. We have one ten and four ones. Oh, so good. Very good, guys. 14 days left. Okay, now I'm going to talk to you about a sentence. So the sentence that I wrote has mistakes in it, things that are not right, not the way that we've learned to write in kindergarten. And I wrote it because right now everybody should be working on their kindergarten memory book. And in your kindergarten memory book, you have a page about your kindergarten friends. Um, I'm So I wrote a sentence about a friend and um, I wanted to show you how I wrote it and I wanted to see what we could fix because in case this is what you wrote on your memory book or if you did this with anybody, you might want to fix it. Okay, so let's look. So my sentence says, my friend is Hudson. My friend is Hudson. Now I want you to look at this sentence and figure out so there's some things wrong with this sentence. I put a lot of things wrong this time. What's the first thing you see wrong? What's wrong with this word? It needs an uppercase M, yes. So let me use my red, let's mark out that lowercase, oh, that's a little too big. There we go, and let's write an uppercase M. All right, good, so we got my. What's wrong with this word friend? What did I do? Yes, it needs to all be lowercase. What's wrong with this letter and this letter? They are uppercase. Yeah, we can't just put uppercase letters in the middle of a sent in a word. They need to be lowercase. Good. My friend is. Now, what's wrong with this? Is is a snap word. It should be spelled right. What did I do? What's wrong? Yeah, that doesn't go there. Not a Z. What is it? How do you spell is? I-S. Good. So this needs to be an S. What's wrong with Hudson? This is a tricky one. What's wrong with Hudson? Who knows? Now, normally I say you can't have uppercase letters in your words in a sentence, but Hudson is a name. And all names should have an uppercase letter. So Hudson should start with an uppercase H because it's a name. My friend is Hudson and what goes at the end? Yes, we need a period or an exclamation point if we're excited about it. Now we fix the sentence. Now let's write it better and fix everything. Let's write it the right way. Okay, let me change my color so you can see and you're gonna write with me. So we're gonna write my uppercase M Y, all right, and then we need a finger space, and friend is F, R, I, E, N, D. My friend is, is, we know is I, S, Hudson, and remember we want that uppercase H for Hudson because a name should be uppercase, even if it's in the middle of a sentence. So if you wrote in your memory, whoops, if you wrote in your memory book and you didn't uppercase your friend's names, you might want to fix that if you worked on that page. My friend is Hudson. Okay. Good job, everyone, on your writing. So everybody should look like this now. Doesn't this look so much better than how it was written? It just looks so much like a big kid wrote it. So we want to make sure that's how we're writing when we go to first grade. Okay. Okay, next. All right, let's talk about building a number. What number do we want to build today? Let's see. Why don't we build, um, let's try to build 17. If I was going to build 17, do I need a 10 for 17? 
Yes, 17 has one whole 10 in it, right? We have to do a 10. So let's make a 10. So I have to draw all these filled up. If you want to draw 10 dots, you can on your paper. Okay, so let's do it. Let's make a 10 frame. You don't have to draw this. You can just do one, two, three, four, five dots, and then do five more underneath. One, two, three, four, five. Now you have a whole 10, right? Now, how many ones do I need for 17? Who knows? Yeah, I need seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that 17? Let's see. Let's count all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yes. Or you can just say ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So this is 110 and seven ones makes 17. Let's write our number sentence, okay? So we need to write 10. Everybody should be writing with me. 10 plus what? What's down here? 10 plus seven, good equals 17. So to, to break apart 17, you have 10 and seven ones. So 10 and seven is 17. Good job, everybody. You did a great job. And you can play this game. You can do this at home. You can make other numbers. Okay, we'll just keep practicing this week with some of these, okay? All right. Good job, everyone, on everything today. You did a great job on um, your writing and figuring out what's wrong with that sentence um, and doing the weather and working on your graph. I'm very proud of you. You guys are all going to be so ready for first grade. Um, I hope everybody has a great Wednesday, okay? Bye.